Hello, everyone. Welcome inside the Red Earth Production Studios for another edition of YBM Cast, powered by Game 7 Baseball, Game7Baseball.com. Uh, season has started. It's begun. We got some great stuff going. Had a great conversation with uh, Dave Penning. We're looking forward to the coming weekend. We're going to be out at Arch Madness in Chesterfield. No, we're not going to be in Chesterfield. We're going to be over at Ozzy's because we're going to be watching the 14 U's this week. So we'll be at Ozzy's. We'll have the 10 up. We're going to have some great stuff out there. Uh, make sure you come by the uh, come by the studio, the, 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 what do we call that? The traveling studio. <laughs> and say hello. We, we, we want to hear from you, talk to you. We got our top award back. We got our Super 7 scholarship award coming out. We got a lot of stuff happening. And speaking of what's happening, we have our resident baseball mom, Jennifer Mayberry. Jennifer, how's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Excited that this season started having fun so far. There you go. And we got so this sounds like fun stuff, right? Our 14 U this year, we were gonna do this back in the day uh before the pandemic. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> But um, anyway, we'll leave that alone. And uh, we got, uh, we had our Super 7 scholarship. We had our top award. We, we were doing some great stuff and it all kind of got, and so we're back this year. We'll feel very good about this. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, rewarding some kids in, in, the, in the community. I think it's a great opportunity for us to give back into the community. So we're looking forward to it. We are really looking forward to it. So what is happening uh, in your neck of the woods? Season started, right? It has started, yes. A couple tournaments under our belt and knocking the rust off. And yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> you got, uh, I think you got a championship win already, don't you, for your 12U um, kids? Yes, our 12U have played two tournaments and they've been tournament champs twice. So pretty impressive, I got to say. <laughs> got to give it up right that's awesome that's for awesome. sure and and i know because i follow you on facebook i saw that it's great i i always enjoy you know you you talk about uh going out and playing in a tournament development is the biggest thing but it's always nice to see that as you're working hard you get success right mm -hmm. yes and, you know, here's the thing. This last weekend was kind of a um, eye-opener for, I think, parents in general, us moms for sure, because I think the moms tend to do a little more of the emotional stuff. But, um, you know, we love baseball. We love championship wins. We love all those things. But we had a um, scary moment. One of um, the kiddos on our team actually was pitching and took a line drive to the neck, and it dropped him immediately. EMS came. It was honestly scary i can't imagine you know being his mom you know i had said to his mom i'm just like i don't know how you held it together and i think it was kind of one of those moments where you realize that gosh sometimes us sports parents we all of us and i'm guilty of it myself but we take some of the things that are not as important and you forget about it is about the kids and you want them to have fun and learn and be safe but he was okay he was able to actually get up, walk off the field. He could not play the rest of the day, but he was able to um, sit and cheer his team on what she did. But it was frightening. Like it, it's one of the scariest things, you know, that you could imagine. And um, it put a few things in perspective that, you know, safety of our kids, that it is fun and that, you know, their well being is overall the most important. So, yeah, that was Absolutely. something for me. You know, and, and I think that's a great point because it doesn't happen that often, right? Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Exactly. And it doesn't happen that often. The percentage we saw, Justin and I uh, saw one last year between the sticks and uh, it was a team out of Kentucky and a uh, good baseball game. And the Kentucky pitcher got one right, right here mm. in the nose and the face and it fractured in his orbital bone oh. in three places. You know, so, yeah, I mean, exactly. You don't see that out often. It happens. And you do, you know, you just, it, it, that's part of the game sometimes. And you, you don't want to see those things happen. But, and it is right. perspective, isn't it? 
<laughs> Absolutely. Because I remember, you know, Justin pitching, that was always my uh, biggest, especially when you get up into college and you got these bigger kids and your aluminum bats and, and uh, you know, balls coming back at you. Uh, that was always something in the back of my mind when he was pitching. So I, I, I hear what you're saying. It's, it's something that you, you know, and you block out of your mind. <laughs> well, it is. It's one of those things, you know, like it's, you know, as a parent or a parent watching that your heart just drops. When we heard, we were just like, you know, it, it just, it, it is frightening. And it's funny because our boys, most of our 12 U boys are still pretty small. They just we keep thinking every year they're going to eventually grow and they just haven't gotten there yet. We know they will, but you know, they were playing some boys this weekend, like a couple of the teams. I I'm not kidding you. One kiddo 11. He was one of the younger kids. He's six, one, two forty, And I'm what? not making numbers. Up. He now his dad's seven foot tall. Like he, he, but we were just like some of these boys. So when you see them next to our kids, it's almost comical and you're just like, but if you think about it, the damn, you know, a little bitty guy and this big old kiddo and yeah. So that's oh, amazing. Goodness. He's 11 years old and he's six one already. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. His dad's seven foot though. Right. You said, yes. Oh my Yeah, gosh. It looked about, I didn't measure him, but one of our coaches that doesn't look up to anyone, he looks dead was looking up. I have a picture and it made our one coach look small and he is not a small guy at all. And it was crazy. So, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And you know, it's so funny because that doesn't kind of change too much. Cause I was at, uh, I was, I was watching some high school baseball this weekend on, uh, and, uh, Timberland and was playing, uh, Francis Howe and, uh, Brett Norfleet, uh, was playing first base and he's six, seven. And just a tremendous athlete. And it was funny because their catcher was on base. Timberland's catcher was on base. And there was parents around me and whatnot. They're over there. Look at that. And the catcher, she goes, he's not a small guy. And look at that. It's She goes, oh, my gosh. And he's towering over, you know, because you don't think about it. But that's, that's when you really go like, oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. It's interesting. And parents are like, oh, my, my kid's going to get squashed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, because if you have that tough play, you know, I, I think the big kid's going to win, right? <laughs> yes. I don't know, though. My little guy's pretty scrappy. I'm not going to lie. He may be little, but he is mighty. So, <laughs> well, he'd maybe just bounce off of him, right? <laughs> Come back up. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, we've got um, some stuff happening. You know, we, you were talking about, uh, before we started and you wanted to bring this up, and I think it's a great point because, uh, Mitch and I, we talk about these things a lot and it's coming out on a show where we're talking about perspective. We were talking about, you know, how, how we treat the umpires, how we treat ourselves and whatnot. And, you know, these are things that are, I think, relative when we're starting this season, I want to bring this out that we we tell, we talk to parents, let's, let's treat the umpires with some respect. I'm not saying you can't go, come on, blue, give me the call. That's not the point, but we're not following them out in the parking lot, casting aspersions on their family name and, uh, you know, threatening their lives and things like that. I mean, this is still kids baseball, but it's how we as parents conduct ourselves, right? Correct. And just being good sports. And we say this a lot. You hear people say the words they need to really hear it, that you should be a good winner. You should be a good loser. And I right. think that that's important. Um, I, you know, was kind of chatting with you, telling you that I had witnessed something, you know, already this season. And it was very disappointing to me. Um, a team that, you know, I normally, you know, had a lot of respect for. And not that that doesn't mean, but it definitely... I I looked at them a little different. Um, you know, we witnessed them lose some games and I don't think they're used to losing and I get that, but they did not come out and shake hands and, you know, do any of that. And I thought, well, okay, maybe that's just um, still from the pandemic. I don't know, whatever. You know, you don't know why or so you're, you're just like, okay. But then I watched that same team the next day come back and they were winning. 
and they came out on the field to shake hands then. And I was taken back by it. And I just honestly, um, yeah, I just think it's poor sportsmanship. And I don't care who wanted to or don't want to or you don't like losing. None of us do. And I can tell you right, right. now, I am not a good loser. I love winning. And so <laughs> I get it. I get it. Right. But you still have to go out and be good sports. And from the coaches to the parents. And I think that if a coach isn't going to have you do it, I think as a parent, you have to say, uh-uh. I don't care what everyone else is doing. Go out and shake hands or whatever. So it just was, um, I was surprised by it and disappointed by it. Well, and you know as well as I do, you if you're playing, uh, if you got good baseball teams on the field, it's going to come down to a play here, play there, a strike call here, a ball call there, um, you know, uh, a missed opportunity, a swing and a miss. You know, that's baseball. And uh, if you're prepared, if you've got a proper good winning attitude, and a winning attitude is about how you prepare, how you are mentally focused, physically focused, to go out and play the game, that team th that day just make may make one more play than you, right? Right. Yes. And it's very just... rare that it comes down to one call or this or that. I mean, it just sometimes it does. I will say yeah. I have seen. So I'm not going to say because it has come down to a missed call or one call can make the difference. But a majority of the time, sometimes it's just that team just played better than you that day. And yeah. that's okay. So. And, yeah. you know, that's the thing, too. If it is a call, you know, an umpire or whatnot, and it's a close call and it didn't go your way, don't follow the guys out to the parking lot. <laughs> Come on. Let them go. They they made the call. Yeah. It didn't go your way. Maybe you get the next one next week. You know, don't blame it on them. those guys. Don't blame it on the coach. Don't blame it on the kids. Let it just be the game, right? Yes. Yes. I mean, that's, that's just baseball. It's just baseball. So I think those are great. So this is a, this is good subject matter too, because as parents, and this is what we talk to. And, and I think moms have a lot to do with that as you know, when the kids are coming off the field and what that the, you know, they see the attitude of the player because they're coming over to get the drink and, and the stuff and, 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 you know, a hug for mom. If I, if I messed up, <laughs> Still oh my gosh, do my that, kids right? would never, well, they would never, oh my gosh, if I even attempted to get close to the dugout and even my kids would be mortified. They'd be like, oh my gosh, go away. <laughs> um, not in the dugout, yes. please. I'll come yes. see you after the game. <laughs> well, we know because the coaches have said uh, they're at the age now that it's a mom free zone, you know, which it should be. I have no problem with that, but it's just funny. We, you know, we're just like, okay. Got it. Got it. We hear you. <laughs> That's a good topic. So. I like that mom free zone. <laughs> yes. Well, you see some of these kids, even at 15 and 16 in high school, you know, and the Gatorades and whatnot, get a Gatorade before the game. Come on, man. Mm. Yes. I've seen that. Saying. I've also seen kids at that age that are still like slamming bats down and stuff, you know, and you're 15 and you're like, holy smokes, what's going on? So yeah, it all, yeah. Doesn't work in high school. You will get your no. behind on the bench pretty quick. Okay, we got one more topic that we want to go through, and it's it's kind of an interesting one because I saw this, and, and I was just kind of rummaging through some topics and whatnot, and I think it's interesting. because And Justin and I were, 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 were talking about this before the game. My wife, you know, dealt with this. Um, you know, where do you put all this equipment? You got the game, and... I mean, you're stacked up around you, you know, and you turn your car into a locker room, right? And yes, it the smells worst, like one too. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. My wife always called it uh, "sweaty boy." <laughs> yep. She goes, "My car smells like sweaty boy." <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would describe it perfect. <laughs> and you know, what do you do? How are you keeping that organized? How, the dirt. I mean, cars. It is a locker room. It is a. Is it a move? It is a moving locker room, isn't it? It is, and I actually had to clean my after week one. I had to go and clean it, which it's one of those. The whole time you're scrubbing and cleaning, you're like, this is totally not 
going to matter after this weekend again. But we had seeds that had spilt out. They left a bag in, turned upside down, all over. So I had to vacuum up some seeds, um, the dust, you know, things that are just, you know, so cleaned all that, you know, cleats on the ground. And some of them, you know, stinky socks turned inside out. I don't want that in my car, but they're there. You find them. Um, so yeah, you find some of the oddest things. I know um, occasionally you might find a cup in your car, you're in your cup holder, and it's not the cup you think of, not a drinking cup. And I'm like, <laughs> what? And come get this. I'm not pulling this out. You come get this. So <laughs> it's always interesting the things you find as a mom after a weekend of baseball. There you go. Exactly. And do you guys do any kind of organs or is it just all go in the car? Most of it all goes in the car. Like I have my things, my baseball bag. I have my cooler. I have my chair. I have my blankets. I have, you know, all the things that go. And then it's in my car. But then Saturday, because you're going to need it again Sunday, the wagon doesn't come out. The chairs don't come out. The covers don't come out. The cooler comes out to get emptied out from the water that's melted and any empty cans or, you know, water bottles that are in there, whatever, get rid of those. And then um, I will re-ice it, put stuff in and put that back in. But most of the other stuff stays in there because there's no point in taking it out to put it back in again. And I love those wagons because I we bought one, geez, it's, it's been years. That, that thing is still going strong. <laughs> Yes, we've had ours a while. <laughs> Keep and, checking. Justin just said the case not so much because we had put it on top on the rack uh, when we went to a tournament way back in the day, <laughs> and it kind of the wind kind of played a little havoc on Took the cover. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, still works though, right? That's right. Got to have the wagon because, as you said, you got the cooler. Do you have the cooler with the wheels? Um, so we've used a couple different ones. The one we currently have does not because it's a backpack cooler. So technically, if Travis is there, I'll go ahead and let him carry that mm -hmm. and get his work in. But I'm not carrying it. So it goes in the that. wagon. So yeah, <laughs> depending. Um, sometimes I hop in the wagon at the end of the day. I'm so tired. I just need to be, you know, pulled back. I'm just like, I'm getting older and I get tired easy. So <laughs> I love that. sometimes I'm and he's just like oh my gosh are we serious here I'm like yep I'm serious so <laughs> <laughs> move it on let's go pull me out there <laughs> yep I usually do the wave to all of our baseball families too, and he's like would you stop just stop already <laughs> oh that's awesome that's awesome so you got, and you got one though. Uh, you, nope, that's right. <clears throat> this, uh, I was, I was getting ready to say because he was fourteen. You, your oldest was fourteen. You last year, but he's not playing. No, he's our my oldest doesn't play any longer. He's actually that's seventeen, right. okay. and he doesn't. Our middle plays fourteen. You this year, okay. And then All our right. youngest is twelve. You. All right, I just so had to, want to get that 17. straight. Gotcha. Yeah. Now you've got uh, fourteen. You when are they starting up? Have they started as well, or they did? They um, started a couple weeks ago. I can't even keep the date straight now. That you can't even. I'm like, it's only March, and I'm like, <laughs> how long have we been playing? But he's played two so far. Wow! So, wow! Wow! Yes. So you've been out. How about uh, good tips? D make sure in your equipment in your locker room. You have plenty of hand warmers and toe warmers, right? It is because it can be weird. You can be freezing if you have a morning game, the sun comes out and you're sweating. So you have to make sure you have on a t-shirt. And then if you have the sweatshirt, you have to have covers. And we just peel layers off as the day go goes on because you just don't know, you know, what it's going to be. We grab the long sleeve shirts. And of course, we're always like, don't grab white in case you pitch. So, you know, for the kids. So, yeah, we we figure you can take it off, you know, if you need to, but you want to make sure you have it if you need it. And you know what? That's true all the way through Memorial Day around here. Uh -huh. It really is. Yeah. You know, it's weird because one of the coldest times we ever played was Mother's Day weekend. My goodness. It yes. was freezing. 
freezing. Yes. So don't don't make sure you keep that locker, you know, that that locker room Fully stored stacked. up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Jennifer, always fun to talk to you. Yes, I love being here. It's so much fun. So uh, we got to catch up, though. We got to catch you out when we're at the ballpark. We'll see where we're at going to be. We got some uh, the ske- our schedules up. I'll shoot you that. Love to have you come okay. out to the to the to the to our traveling studio. <laughs> and I would uh, love to. We'll catch up out there. All right. Sounds you guys good. playing? You guys playing this weekend coming up? Uh, my middle is the youngest is not. Okay. So. We Where just you guys have one at? to follow, which is kind of nice. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know because until schedules come out, I don't worry about it. And that's either Tuesdays or Wednesdays each week. So honestly, Correct. if you ask me on Thursday, I'll have everything in order. Tuesdays, not so much. <laughs> we wait till the schedule comes out, then we could. I. That's fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Well, you guys, good luck this weekend if we don't see you. Thank you. And, uh, you know. We'll be uh, we'll be talking to you. We'll keep up. We'll try and keep up in, in in the tournament. Maybe we'll even get you on from where you're at. I don't know. We'll figure some weird stuff out. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this segment. If you did, please comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Open the conversation. Hit the like button because you know what that does? It helps the algorithm. That's what it does. It helps us. It helps us grow. We, we enjoy uh, all the support from everybody. Thank you very much. All you pitchers, keep throwing strikes, and you hitters, hit them where they ain't, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>